Arthrix presents the arthrobrostum technique and implant system developed by Dr. Jorge Acevedo and Dr. Peter Mangone. The standard anteromedial portal is used for visualization of the arthrobrostrum procedure. After determining the safe zone from the distal tip of the fibula between the superior border of the peroneal tendons and the intermediate branch of the superficial peroneal nerve, the exit points for the suture lasso are mapped out. Debridement of the lateral gutter is performed using an arthroscopic shaver. The site of the first anchor is located one centimeter proximal to the distal tip of the fibula. The preloaded 3.0 millimeter biocomposite suture tack anchor is pre-drilled and inserted through the guide. A sharp-tipped, curved, microsuture lasso is inserted through the anterolateral portal and is brought out of the skin. A looped wire is passed through the suture lasso and the lasso is then removed, leaving the looped wire in place. One of the suture limbs is passed out through the skin with the use of the wire loop. Care is taken to assure that the suture limbs are not crossed. The microsuture lasso is passed again through the anterolateral portal as described previously. The process is repeated for the second suture limb. The second anchor is now placed one centimeter proximal to the first anchor. Alternatively, using the microsuture lasso, an outside-in technique can be performed to shuttle the two remaining suture limbs. A small incision is placed along Langer's line. Using a small arthroscopic probe or hemostat, the sutures are then pulled through this centrally placed incision. If distraction is being used, it is removed, and the ankle is held in a slightly everted and neutral to slightly plantar flexed position. With the ankle held in the appropriate position, the suture limbs are tied tightly down. The arthrobrostrum avoids the need for ancillary portals and traditional open incisions while decreasing operative time and recovery time. 